Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the life cycle of ants, more in particular, egg to ant. So, without further ado, we're going to jump straight in. Okay, so this whole process based is around a queen. So, after mating, a princess becomes a queen, and she's ready to start her own colony. So, what she'll do is, after a mating flight, um, she'll land and what she'll do is start looking for a suitable nesting site where she'll lay her first eggs. Now the first eggs are tiny and she will only survive off the fat already in her body, uh, the muscle tissue of her wings and the protein of the wings themselves. Some species of ants will still go out and forage during the first stages but most will um, not actually eat until the first workers come along. So moving on to the middle stage. So the middle stage is known as larvae. Now the eggs will eventually turn into larvae. These are similar to maggots. However, they have no eyes or major organs and are limited to small movements and wrigglings. They also have an opening which is their mouth and the queen all the worker ants will help feed them. They are covered in tiny hairs that help them adhere and stick to each other. This enables workers and queens to pick them up in small batches and um, pick them up and move them very quickly if needed. Most larvae will grow into worker ants. However, in developed colonies, larvae fed more food may develop into majors or even winged princesses for the next generation and the next year's nuptial flights. Moving on to the third stage now. Okay, so the larvae will grow in size and eventually they'll be ready to start taking the form of what we would recognise as an adult ant. So most species spin a silk cocoon around themselves. Um, this is called pupa. Now inside the pupa a young ant will enclose and start to develop and grow. But this isn't the case for all species. Some species develop without a silk cocoon. So sometimes you see, see in this picture illustrated above that you've got a nearly a fully grown ant just sort of cuddled up in tight ball. Now that's um, a pupa without a silk cocoon, but if you did have a silk cocoon it'd be the same story just enclosed. Now eventually, after enough time has passed, they will enclose, which is essentially being born, and worker ants will help cut them out and get them out of their um, cocoons. Um, at the time. Now, they'll eventually emerge, mostly um, in pale yellow ants, but they'll quickly darken or change to their natural colour of their species as their exoskeleton hardens, because they'll be very soft of, um, one, at the time of enclosing. So now that we've covered the three stages, we're going to take a look around my ant collection and we're going to point out what stages of a uh, cycle my ants are in. So here's my fire ant. Now as we can clearly see, there must be some larvae hidden in there somewhere, but that is definitely a massive batch of early stage eggs. So we'll continue through my collection now. So now we're on the Nicobarensis, uh, Campanotus species, and... She's also just laid eggs. Just going to chuck in a quick fact for you. If there's a heated, so a warm spot in the nest, it can help the cycle speed up faster. So um, egg to ant would be faster if it was slightly heated. So next up is my Lassius niger colony. And this is quite clearly early stage eggs. Now the little story with my last year's Niger, which is why I'm so happy 
that these eggs are even here is I recently had to move them from a white on nest that was big enough for them to grow into into a very small founding nest with one of my homemade mini outworlds and this was down to the fact the queen's eggs were not hatching when she had stopped laying the eggs they had funny orange tinges to them they weren't viable and she would not lay more and the colony dropped from about eight to two at this point I needed to keep a much closer eye on her so I moved her into their current setup and these eggs are within the couple of weeks they've been in there the Queen has uh, got used to the environment and has recovered or whatever was wrong is no longer affecting them so I'm really happy okay moving on to another Laceous species, but this is the Flavius species. Now, as you can see here, this is an interesting one. This is a nice big batch of eggs, but we also have one quite large larvae. But I don't see any pupa, so that larvae might turn into a pupa any time now, but it's quite a big guy. But it looks like they're doing really well there, really well, and they look very happy, and this particular queen is quite a rebel, because she will not move into her nest, she, this is her outworld and she lives in it, and they don't seem to be puffered, but I'm not bothered, she's not a jumpy queen either, so I can take the lid off, I don't know, I don't scare her, she doesn't, bother, she doesn't react, so there's something interesting for you, moving on now, to uh, some of my pavement ants. Now these, this is a big cluster of, I would have to say, pupae, with maybe a few eggs mixed in. But as you can see, sort of down the side, uh, where the darker patches are, sorry about the camera work, uh, these are a very nervous, fast-moving ant, and uh, well, I only had a small window of opportunity to record them. But this is definitely mostly larvae with eggs sporadic around. Okay, moving on to my Fadoli colony. Now these have seem to be keeping their eggs on the ceiling, which is amusing for me. But this is quite most certainly, you can see the queen underneath there. And above the queen on the ceiling, right there, we've got eggs and a big batch of eggs there. So they're in the egg stage. Now moving on, this is a close-up of my Mesa Barbarus spe species. Now, if we give it a little bit of a time, because I remember I uh, was watching their behavior before I looked at their eggs. So if we just focus in on their eggs now. Uh, sorry about the joltingness, when it's magnified so much, any little nudge is a big jolt. Well, let's see what we can see here. I mean, without this being too focused, I can see larvae and pupa. You see the little black dot just on the side of the queen's, just under the queen's head? So that one little black dot, that's an eye. So that's an uncocooned pupa. But we mostly have larvae here, and I can see eggs there as well. There's every stage going on here. I think most of it's larvae. A little bit of pupa and quite a few eggs. That's brilliant. Uh, I'll keep showing this sample of this video as uh, there is some good shots captured throughout. Another thing that I like so much about my Mesobarbara species is that their majors, um, this big guy here for example, are quite readily um, available. Uh, they come quite early on, um, you get to see them, there's quite a lot per nest, where a lot of the majors in like, let's say, Campanotis species or any other species, um, you know, generally you don't get them until the colony is huge. But yeah, we will. we've got a slightly better image there, you can see the pupae and the larvae sort of on top of him, but you can see his eyeball, you see the little black dot? That's an eye. Anyway now, I'm just going to move on to the next one. 
and in this shot I realised that I hadn't got any silk cocoons so I hunted one down in one of my large Campanota species most of their eggs are at the larva species, uh, sorry, stage but I found this one right at the top of the nest all on its own which is a fully cocooned not far off enclosing pupa so I'm going to start to wrap the video up here because we're already over 10 minutes um, so we'll start ending the video so that's been my look at my colonies um, stages in the three stages egg larvae pupa and that's been an explanation on how the life cycle of egg to ant works now I hope you've enjoyed this video and I've must say I've enjoyed making it for you if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscribed viewer why don't you hit that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss out on any of my future content thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll catch you next time